Praise be to God. This is Evangelist Michael Fernandez. This is an awesome day. This is the day that the Lord has made. I know everybody out there just getting all scared and, oh, I'm going to die this. And let me tell you, we're all going to go through the valley of shadow death. Well, tighten up your belt. We're going to go into this topic. This is the last days. Uh, before we do, let's pray for the peace of Israel and for our leaders. It don't matter if you agree with us or not. God says we're supposed to pray for our leaders. And um, letting you know, once again, like I always say, we will be seeing Trump in 2020 once again. Just like in my book, uh, Gifts of the Holy Spirit, prophesied that. Well, and also on my TV show in 2000 in uh, uh, how you say, 2006, May the 4th. It's on my front side of my website, www mfministries.net it says Trump there and I'm telling you know brothers and sisters God uses me in a lot in the prophecy and the word of knowledge and I give God the glory I'm just a vessel God used a donkey then he used me too so I'm not better than anybody I'm just a simple vessel okay just want to let you know let's pray for the peace of Israel Father you know the timing and everything you control every aspect of our life none of us go through what we're going through without you approving it father i just pray for our president and oh god just give him strength uh, wisdom god uh, yes in jesus name and father also for israel and jerusalem in jesus name protect him and give him peace i want to let you know we're going to talk about the last days and about fear I uh, want to let you know, the Lord showed me uh, some vision. And one thing I need to let you know, uh, I know about this crisis and the virus and so on. Uh, I'm letting you know, revival is started. Revival is getting the tension. The fear is getting the tension of the sinner. But for the Christian, I got something for you. It's time to stop being a big old baby and sucking on the bottle. It's time to stand up and be a man and a woman of God. And be heard and don't be a wimp and stand up for the gospel and be bold. This is for the Christians and the soldiers of God. It's time to step up in the plate. This are the last days. It's not going to be. It is now. And God told me in the spirit to tell the church. And this is the word for the Lord. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. You as the saints and the sons of God, gird up your loins of truth and be ready for a fight, a good fight of faith. We're going to go through the valley. The Bible says in Matthew 24, I know it talks about the seven years, but I'm talking about before the seven years starts. There will be tribulations, famine, earthquakes, and things like this, diseases, pestilence, and so on are going to happen. It's going to get even worse. It is going to get worse, the Lord showed me. But we, as the saints of God, be ready. The revival is starting. Get ready, because the sinners are crying and panicking, going in the stores and buying everything, like going crazy. So I advise you Christians, it's only normal to go get what you got to get. But I'm letting you know, the, the sinners who don't have Jesus to trust, and they do have the spirit of fear, they have no other choice but to do what they do. It's only normal for them. But you, as the saints, need to stand up and be the light. And you Christians who are successful and wealthy, it's time to put your religion in your pocket, not in your mouth, and begin to share your money with the less fortunate, those who don't have money or food because of lack of jobs because the people are afraid to go to work. We as the saints of God need to stand up. And the coward preachers, you need to stand up and warn the church and let them know, let not your heart be troubled. I don't think it's going to happen because it's predicted in the word of God. The Bible says once again to you, saints, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of the power and of love and a sound mind. Once again, my website is www.mfministries.net. And also in 2015, I'm going to let you know what God showed me. 2015, when I was preaching and I had a vision, I was inside of a mall and it was blowed up and exploded. And, and I said, Lord, what is this? And I was walking through the store. There happened to be a pet store. And there was a man, uh, he was dead. And the pets, animals, beautiful animals were dead. And uh, my heart went out to it. 
And I said, Lord, what is this, Jesus? What is this? He said, son, I want you to command that man to come alive. And I said, Lord, but his face is not there. Put his face back onto his head and he'll come alive. And command him to come alive. And he did. And, and that animal commanded to come alive. And he did. And I said, Jesus, what are you trying to tell me? He said, son, Satan is afraid. He knows. He knows his time is near. That I'm coming. And his day and hour is coming for him to be put in the pit. Oh, thank you, Jesus. God has not forsaken the children of his children. Hallelujah. It's not by might, nor by power, but it's by the Holy Spirit. Hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the church. Fear not. Let not your heart be troubled. For these things will come to pass, saith God. But I would not let you alone. Though you walk through the valley of shadow death, I will be with you, saith the Lord. Receive the prophecy of God and encouragement body. Okay, now this is what happened. And I asked the Lord, what does this mean in this vision? He said, Satan is going to use terrorists to kill the people because he's trying to take as many sinners with him to hell. And it says, I want you to have the church to pray so they want to be exposed so it won't happen. So in 2015, it's documented on my TV show. And, you know, a lot of people don't know. I'm just a simple little preacher who loves God. And let me tell you, and and we were praying for three weeks that these people who were going to try to do this will be exposed. This is fact. Go to Google and type terrorist attack attempt in 2015 on Galleria Mall in Sharpstown Mall. The Lord showed me that these malls will be attempted to be blowed up by these terrorists. And we were praying, and they got exposed. Thank you, Jesus. They caught them. There were two Muslims, and there were Muslims, and they had bomb, pot bombs, and they had a map of the Galleria and then the Sharpstown Mall, exactly what the Lord showed me. I'm telling you, I know when God tells me stuff, and it happened, it was exposed. Now I'm telling you again, let it be documented. I preached this on Spanish and English. It's going to happen again. They are going to come back. There are cell groups. There are people they, they are sitting here to cause chaos to the U.S. They're going to fix and come out and begin to do things like that again. It's time for the church to begin to pray that these people who are trying to bring chaos to be exposed in the name of Jesus so they be caught so when people won't get hurt. Church, we got power, and we're able to expose the plan of the enemy. We got the power in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you, this disease is, is all of Satan. Let me tell you. Let me tell you one thing. It's causing fear, but it works out for the good. It's causing a lot of sinners to begin to repent and come to Jesus. That's why, church, we need to tie it up, tie it up our loins a girdle, and tie it up and be able to help the sinners and tell them to repent and accept the goodness of God, that Jesus loves them, that is these things are going to happen. And another vision I had, I was having a Bible study in this vision. In this vision, I was having Bible study. I asked everybody, would you like some Kool-Aid? Would you like something to drink? And everybody jumped on me, and they started arguing with me. You can't give uh, water out to nobody. And I said, why? Because the government is monitoring, censoring everybody's houses uh, per house, how much you're supposed to use per individuals in the home. And you can't be giving your water away. You need to think about you and your family. I said, don't worry. So I told everybody, what do you want? I want Kool-Aid. But we can't, we can't do it. They kept on, just pick up your glass. And they picked up their glasses. I said, in Jesus' name, receive the Kool-Aid. And receive the Coke. Receive the water. And it appeared in the glass. And I said, Jesus, what do you mean, Jesus? He says, just like I took care of my children in the desert. I gave them heat in the cold. I gave them shade in the summer. I gave them bread. I gave them meat. I gave them water. How much more would I not take care of my children under the new covenant, which is a better covenant? If only my children trust me, I will take them through the valley of shadow death. Just like when the judgment came down on the Egyptian, when they covered the blood around the door seal, death passed 
their home. I'm telling you, if you're born again, hallelujah, death of the disease will pass you along. And if you do get sick, you lay hands on yourself and command that sickness to die and wither because Jesus has healed you. For the word of God says, by the stripes of Jesus, I'm encouraging church. It's time to be soldiers, not big old babies and sissies being scared and running under the trees under the rocks you need to stand up because God is with you and we need to show the sinners we are here to tell them of the goodness of God and if they're sick they can be healed in the name of Jesus I don't care what virus I don't care what famine I'm talking about a power of the living God he for the Lord said my children and trust me I will make the crooked place straight for I am Alpha and Omega I am the one who put the stars in this place and the sun in this place for you would know when the enemy comes like a flood I will stop it sons and daughters stand up in my power and in my name saith the Lord for this is the interpretation of that tongue hallelujah I'm talking to the church I'm not talking to sissy five Christians who say they love the Lord and live in one way like the devil and think they're Christians. No, it's time to draw the line and begin to live right and holy before God and lay aside every sin that easily besets you. But looking on to the altar and the finisher of your faith, there is grace, but there's also chastisement, judgment on the sinners. Let me tell you, Things are happening because it's predicted in the word of God. Don't let fear control you. For God has said in this word, he has not given us the spirit of fear, but a spirit of love and a sound mind. I'm telling you, church, gird up. Stand up in the power of his might. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, we need to tell the truth in love, not condemn a sinner, but tell him, I have good news. Just like God set me free from homosexuality, transgender, God in his grace reached down and lift me up and wash me. Sinner, if you out there listening to me, Jesus loves you. Repent and accept the goodness of God. He's calling you to the table of the Lord's Supper. Come with us. He's coming for us. Be ready. Be ready. The only way into the kingdom of God is through one name is Jesus. That if you call him, thou shalt be saved. He karambandede hokuma. Lord said, I am the only way. No man comes to the Father but by me, saith the Lord. That is an interpretation of that tongue. For those religious people say, you better have it. I just gave it to you. Thou saith the Lord. Begin to be ready, brothers and sisters. These are the last days. These are the last days. Oh, thank you, Jesus. It's not my might, no by power, but it's by the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you, just like God took care of the people at that time. You know, a lot of people says, well, brother, you get it sacrilegious. Well, let's read Acts eleven twenty eight for all those religious people need to pray for these so-called religious people. They're the worst people getting God's way. and They persecuted Jesus and they backstabbed him. And I know some are going to get mad. I don't really care. I'm going to preach the truth. You know, here it is. Well, I don't believe God would give prophecies that are so negative. Really? You don't believe God would prophesy something bad's going to happen? You better find out about the Bible. Okay, my Bible says different. Let's read Acts 11, 27, and 29, and 28. Here we go. This is to show you that the prophets, the Spirit of God, does prophesy things are going to happen when it's going to happen, either through visions or through prophecy. Here it goes. In those days, the prophet came from Jerusalem, Acts eleven twenty seven, Jerusalem, Antinians. Then one of them, named Agabus, stood up, shown by the Spirit that there was going to be a, a great, everyone say great, famine throughout all the world. Did you hear that? Throughout all the world. They were going to go through famine at this time, which also happened the day of Claudia Cicera. Verse 29, watch what he said. Then the disciple, each according to his ability. Did you hear that? 
to the disciples, which is you. Everybody say, me, me. I'm not talking about a church. Me, to the disciples, and each according to his ability, determined to sin, relief to the brethren dwelling in Jerusalem. Did you hear that? These things are going to get worse. Believe me. And here I'm prophesying of things that are fixing to happen. Get ready. Martial law is fixing to be a chaos in the land because the panicking of the sinners, they have fear. We as the saints of God don't have fear. Well, we're going to see this pan out because the Lord showed me martial law in certain cities. And it's going to be horrible things that's going to happen. But God said, let not your heart be troubled. These things are going to happen. Revival starting. But revival, the devil's not going to let you have the sinners without a fight. This is a fight. We're in the battle. Time to tighten up your loins and quit being a big old wimp, a big old baby, a 40-year-old man with a big old bottle sucking on. It's time to grow up and be a man and a woman of God. And go out to the highways and byways and win the souls. And stop fearing the sickness and disease. For the word of the Lord said, sickness will not come among my dwelling. Hallelujah. Will not come among the dwelling of his children. Thou saith the Lord. And if it tries to come, you curse it and command it to die and withered. Because I believe in the supernatural God. But the natural Christians who are babies and cowards, go ahead and stay in your house. Because we don't need no one getting in our way. We need men and women who are strong and be violent and violent to preach to the truth. For the kingdom of God taketh by force. We are in the battle. This is the last days. This is the last days. We are in the battle. Jesus is coming. In 2010, when I was dying in, in the hospital, when they gave up on me, he caught up on Sunday. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm telling you. When I was dying, oh, when Dodie Osteen prayed for me, when I was dying, Jesus came to my house in front of me in my bedroom. He said, son, you will live and not die to proclaim the works he told me. And he said one thing. He said, tell my children. This was in 2010. He said, tell them I'm coming for them. Hallelujah. Jesus said he's coming for us. Oh, though we walk through the valley shadow death, I will not fear no evil, for his rod and staff comfort me. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, church, we're not alone. We're fighting a battle, but your reward is great. Hold on to the end. Don't give up. Stand, stand, stand in these last days. Stand in these last days. Let your life be counted. Go into the highways and byways and tell them Jesus loves them, that he's able to set them free. He's love them. And Jesus told me, tell my church, tell my children, I'm coming for them. He's coming for us. He's coming for you, brothers. Don't give up. Keep on holding on. Hold on to the end and stand your grounds because Jesus is coming for the church. Yes, brother, a lot of people don't believe it. Yes, there's going to be a lot of chaos. What God is saying to the sons and daughters, we do not have the spirit of fear, but a sound mind and the peace of God. Put your trust and you will be able to walk through the valley. Hallelujah. Just like he protected his children in the desert. Oh, they didn't go without food. Did he go without water or shade? The clothes did not word off. Oh, I'm excited. These are the last days. I'm going to be able to see men and women who fired up, fired up. Says, where is that devil? Let sickness come this way. When it touches my body, it will die. Because my Bible says that sickness will not come among my dwelling. Be encouraged. Stand up and fight the good fight. Go into the cities and claim the souls for the kingdom of God. For the revival is already started now because the fear is falling in the hearts of the sinner and they're going crazy. They're reaching out. Some are even killing themselves.
love. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, we need to let them know that Jesus is the answer. It will give them peace so they could go through the valley of shadow death. I don't care if you're sick right now. If you're sick with any disease or any virus, right now I curse that virus in the name of Jesus. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus. What Jesus did on the cross destroyed you in the name of Jesus. Any new or old diseases, it will die at the name of Jesus, at the blood of Jesus. What Jesus did on the cross, it was finished. It was finished. Victory was done in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm calling on the church. This is news for the church. Stand up. These are the last days. Gird up your loins and let your heart be afraid. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love and a sound mind. Oh, thank you, God. Oh, praise you, Jesus. Yes, the Lord is saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Another vision I had, oh, beautiful. When Jesus stood there when I was younger, I remember when I was laying on the couch and then all of a sudden I heard a whirlwind and it just, and there stood Jesus in front of me and my spirit left my body. My body was laying down. And Jesus said, all things that have life shall praise me for I'm Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. And the moment he began to say that, I heard my blood, I heard my skin tissue, my hair, my bones, every fiber of my body singing, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna the highest, for my Creator stands before me, for he is worthy to receive praise. I began to feel my whole body, every fiber, every skin tissue singing, praises to the creator who is alpha and omega which is jesus i'm telling you brothers we got a mighty god we got a mighty father oh we're not alone we're passing the devil think he's won but he's defeated he was defeated at the cross and letting you devil know that we're coming we're coming to take those sinners from you to bring them into the kingdom of god in the name of jesus and i'm telling the church Stand up, stand up, quit being a coward, be a man and a woman of God, what God has called us to be, soldiers of the living of God, put on the armor of God, that you might fight the fiery darks of the enemy, this is the last days, oh I'm excited, Jesus is coming, but we're going to take as many sinners with us, get them saved and filled with the Holy Ghost, and bring them into the kingdom of God. Remember, go to my website to see my other TV programs, www.mfministries.net, and be a part of this ministry. If you haven't accepted Jesus, say, Jesus, come in my heart. I believe you're the Son of God, and that God has raised you from the dead, and I confess Jesus is Lord. And if you're sick, receive you the healing that God has provided for you at the cross in the name of Jesus. If you have any questions or want in prayer, Email me at Michael Fernandez Ministries at gmail dot com. Once again, go to my website in Jesus' name is www.mfministries.net. I'm excited. God, this is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice. And the word of the living God will go forth. It will not come back void and answer with power in the name of Jesus. These are the last days. Let not your heart be troubled. Yeah.